Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. You're at Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I am here to bring you some channeled messages from Spirit. Um, usually I draw cards and read my monthlies that way, but Spirit is just giving me the messages directly and I'm here to bring them to you. Um, for those of you wondering, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, especially Venus. Um, Spirit is wanting me to explain a little why Venus is so important. Venus is the planet of love. Um, so if you are here about questions uh, in your love life, then concentrate on your Sun and Venus sign. Um, for all other aspects of your life, um, work, family, home, um, those then check your sun, moon, and rising. But um, Spirit is encouraging you to watch them all because as we know, we are all um, a combination of many different energies, many different signs. So <clears throat> um, if this doesn't resonate with you, which it will not with everybody due to it being a general message and I am reading for the collective, and for those of you who have messages from spirit, who spirit feels needs to hear them the most, um, I want to apologize for my absence the last month. I have been dealing with a illness that I've had, and it has taken a lot more out of me this time than what um, it has in the past. So I am back. Um, I encourage you to re uh, watch the video if you have ordered a reading from me in the last month. Um, I did post that this morning, so I encourage you to watch that. If you haven't ordered a reading from me, there's no need to, um, watch it. Um, the last couple of weeks I have been getting download after download, um, and my channel messages are coming in clearer and faster than ever. So during meditation today, I was having a bunch of messages coming in on Sagittarius. So I went ahead and wrote them down. I'm going to channel messages as we go as well. But I do have some messages that I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to pass on. I am opening my booking back up um, for personal readings. I'm also offering uh, another type of reading starting this month called um, Talking to Heaven. So if that's something that interests you, I um, will be channeling messages from spirit, from your loved ones that you would like to connect with. Um, so that is a, a reading just based on uh, somebody that you know and want to connect with who has passed on. Um, I think that is all my service announcements. So with that, I will get started. Um, Spirit wants Sagittarius to know first and foremost that you you need to take the time to get grounded, to meditate, and to remember your value. Know your worth. Because if you, if you don't realize how valuable you are or how, or if you have low self-esteem, if you view yourself in a um, low way, that that is how people are going to treat you. You are going to attract that vibration to you. And you do not realize how, how much you really do deserve better. For a group of you, for a group of you, I see you're going to finally start seeing things for what they are, what they're really, what they really are as far as, um, the situations that you put yourself in, the situations that you allow in your space, allow to be brought into your life. Spirit really wants you to concentrate on hiring your vibration because, you are attracting these low vibration pieces of shit, <laughs> pardon my French, situations that you could be doing way better 
Um, and that's in every aspect of your life. That is in career, your home, your love, your family. You need to be, be vibrating at the level that you are. Um, some messages that I got this morning was, um, you have been really confused about a situation in your love life. Um, you could have been dealing with somebody that you are the third party. Um, the person you're dealing with is married or in a committed relationship and they've been wearing a false mask. They have been making you think that this was heading in a direction, a positive direction, but he's telling both parties that you and the other person and you are going to, um, you're going to get clarity out of the blue. Just all of a sudden you're going to be like, F this, I am out. And it's going to cause you to change your direction. You're going to end up ending something. And just all of a sudden you're going to know how to do it. You're going to know which way to go. Um, let me check my messages. There was something that I got on that this morning. Um, okay, so... This also has, this also could be you though, Sagittarius, because this morning I got the message that you, this is for a group of you who are in separation from a marriage, could possibly be with a Libra, but it doesn't have to be, but they have some kind of air in their chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Um, it is very toxic, very toxic. They could, um be like something is in relation to like a, a narcissist. Everything is your fault. Sagittarius. Um, they don't take ownership for any fault in anything ever. Um, they are going to be coming back into your life if they have not already. Like you guys have been separated for, I would say a good year at least with that kind of hit and go touch and go. Um, energy coming in and out, in and out. Like they get a hold of you when they need something or it'll benefit them in some way. They are going to be coming back. They are going to, I don't want to say pretend, but they're going to make you entertain the idea of getting back together with them. And it's only for the reason to benefit them in some way. So it would be beneficial to allow that to like pass on through. Um, I'm not quite sure what spirit is meaning by this, but Like you need to, you need to end this cycle with this person because your 10 cups is waiting. He's, they're there. He, she, wh whoever it is that you are trying to manifest into your life, you are trying to get back together with, because I do see this as an energy that you had a relationship with short term and they are also connected to a karmic partner. But you need to release this person, this toxic person, this um, spouse that you are in separation with, because for one, they're toxic for you. Um, they only bring negativity. They, <coughs> excuse me, they're using you for something because they're coming back in, but I don't see love there. I see they are borderline obsessed with you, but they don't show any love. Like 
when you guys are around each other, you fight, you bicker, uh, they blame you for things that you even had no clue even happened, let alone had anything to do with. So you need to cut that cord. You need to end that. You need to finish uh, with the divorce and clear that karmic partner, cut those cords. So your 10 of cups can come in. I feel that you are in separation from this person that you feel holds the 10 of cups energy. Um, they may have cut you off to try to deal with issues in their own life. And this is making you feel really isolated, um, alone, cut off because you don't want to entertain the idea of anybody else. So you just kind of go into that hermit mode and you're really, for this group of you, you are really uh, using your spirituality to get you through this dark time. But Spirit is saying this situation is going to be resolved soon um, with this Ten of Cups energy. They are going to come back. And I'm hearing for a group of you is a Virgo or a Cancer. Um, because they're both carrying those energies. In the month of January, you're going to get really upset and irritated and um, really just short-tempered very easily. And it's because you're frustrated. You have been working very hard on yourself, Sagittarius. You have been healing. You've been doing what you feel, everything you need to do. But you need to end that one situation. Even though you have your feelings for them are gone. And I don't know why you're kind of dragging your feet or you're not pressing through. Um, that needs to end so you can leave that toxic situation in the past. And cut that karmic tie. And Spirit is encouraging you just to end communication completely with that person. Um, they only bring you down. <laughs> And once you do that, the relationship that you're hoping for, is going to make a 360 degree turn and come right to you. Um, it is right there. During this time, though, you've been re-evaluating re your life, re-evaluating your situation. Like, you're tired of being that mistress. They told you they were leaving their spouse months ago. I feel for this group of you, you have probably been in this journey I feel you met this person that you're holding out for. I'm getting in like May, May or June of 2017 and went into separation around August. And you've been waiting since then for them to get their shit together and come back because that's what they've been telling you they're doing. Um, I do feel that you were the mistress though throughout that time period. And now you're reevaluating and you're like, no, it's me or them. I'm tired of being the third party. I'm tired of causing this other person hurt. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be the person that they view as the enemy because you've been in the dark Sagittarius. Like you're their scapegoat almost because they're not telling their partner that they've been telling you a completely different story that you've been lying and manipulating to you, Sagittarius. No, they just think that you're that person that won't leave their spouse alone. Um, but I see that coming. I see that that's going to end. I see that that person that you're waiting on is getting out of a relationship so they can be with you because they are now that you cut them off or they back away from you. They are realizing just how much you mean to them. They're realizing how much they don't want to be without you. Um, I, I see them coming back. February, uh, beginning of March at the very latest. They are going to give you stability but you're scared. You have a lot of fear that they're going to take off on you again. 
And I don't see that for this group of you. Um, Jupiter is coming back into Sag Sagittarius, which is Jupiter's ruled by Sagittarius. Um, And it's really going to boost your love life. It's going to bring new adventures. Um, for those of you who aren't waiting on somebody, you're just single and um, wanting somebody to share your life with. Those people are coming in. I just see new adventures, traveling, um, innocence, um, like the... Energy of the Fool card, just blissfully going through life, enjoying it with somebody. For those of you who are waiting on that person that I was just talking about, they will be back by then as well. Um, it's going to bring you a renewed sense of joy. Uh And it's going to renew your, your strength. Your strength never left. It's always been there. But you have been tested and tested and tested to where it may feel like it's not there, but it's in there. And you're going to feel it very shortly, like by the end of June or the end of July. Um. I see you really reflecting in the next month or two, really um, looking at your life up to this point, your journey, what you've been through, how far you have come, what you deserve, because a lot of your life, Sagittarius, you've settled. Um, you, a lot of you um, have that energy that you attract people who need help. Like you can't save the world, Sagittarius. You can't, but you sure try and you give people everything you got, even if it means you going without just to help them. But unfortunately you attract the people that take your help, expect your help, get pissed if you don't give your help. And then when you do give all you got, it's not enough anyways. And that's because there's no fixing them. Only they can fix them. But you give it your whole heart and you dedicate everything you got to trying. And so you've just been around a lot of low vibrational people most of your adult life. And you are going to reevaluate and reflect and see just how far you've come. And you are going to stop allowing those people in. You are going to quickly realize that it's time for you and congratulations because it's about damn time. Um, this 12 year cycle is coming up and you are getting rid of everybody that no longer serves your greater good. You are going to start taking the queen of swords energy on and you are going to start cutting people out of your life that do not benefit you. They only drag you down they use you, they, you just no longer have a place in your life or room in your life for people that only worry about themselves. Um, you're cutting out people who use you, manipulate you. Um, one major energy, especially that has a tie to you, you're going to cut them out of your life. They are verbally abusive, mentally abusive, um, manipulate you, steal from you. I'm seeing them stealing. They just may have recently stolen something from you and you have found out about it. Um, but you are really, you are really um, cleaning up your life as far as people who are in it. And good for you. I do see you coming into 
something that's going to make you realize your life's purpose. And this is huge. You, it's going to come out of the blue too. You are going to be sitting doing something that you do all the time, every day, nothing out of the norm. And all of a sudden, bam, it's going to be in your face. And it's just going to click. And you're going to know. You are going to know. And while you are sitting there thinking about it, you're going to look back on your childhood and you're going to be like, why didn't I see this before? Why didn't I realize my purpose here before? Why is it just now coming to me? Duh. But it's going to be the most joyful moment that you have had. Maybe in close to all your life. It is going to open all sorts of doors and opportunities for you. You are going to come into your own in 2018, Sagittarius. I honestly, truly believe Saggy's 2018 is your year. It is the, it is the year that is going to change your world. And it's because you have the strength and the courage to make the world what you want it. You always let life happen to you in the past. You just sat back and took whatever came at you and you did it with dignity, grace, and humility. But we're rebirthing a new you. So you are no longer let, letting life happen to you. You are happening to life. You are giving definition to your life. You are going out and getting what you want. You are making the relationships that you want to have. You are cutting out people who no longer serve you. You are getting the job that you want. If it's not out there, you're going to create it. I see businesses opening. I see spirituality at an all-time high. I see people taking charge of their own life. And in 2018, you are going to be successful at everything you do. You are manifesting whatever you want at this point. So be careful what you ask for, obviously, and um, make sure the universe knows exactly what it is in detail, what you want, because it's coming. Um, a lot of you are being spiritually awakened. A lot of you are um, t tapping into your own intuition and it's going to serve you well. It's going to, it's going to serve you in telling you who to cut and who to keep very well in 2018. Um, I see a lot of you going back to school in 2018, um, getting a higher education, getting more education, training, something. A lot of you, Sagittarius, will be in some form of education to better yourself. Um, in January, I see your belief systems um, being questioned by yourself. Um, you're going to ask yourself, what is it that I truly believe in? Not what my family thinks, not what my, you know, the family traditions are, not what my friends are doing. What do I believe in? And I feel like a lot of you, that's when your spiritual awakening is going to begin, but you're going to ask yourself, why am I attached to this? Why is this attached to me? Is it good for me? Is it really what I want? And that's how you're going to start the process of rebuilding your life, restructuring who you are. Because for many of you, you just let people tell you who you are. And you let people tell you who you are for so long that then you started to believe it. And then when you believe it, you live it. And now you're to a point in your life where you're not happy with your life. You're not happy where you're at. You aren't happy with who's there, who's not. So you are realizing that it's time. You're taking your life back. And when you truly, honestly believe in something, you live it without even realizing it. And then that's how you slowly change your life into what it, you want it to be. Um, and Sagittarius, you're gonna, you're gonna do it. Um, 
you're such a passive natured person with a fiery attitude. So it takes a lot for you to get to that fiery attitude. But in the meantime, you are people pleasers. You just want to make everybody happy. So you just do what everybody told you to do. And now you're to the point where it's like, fuck this. Sorry, pardon my French. Um, it's my life. I'm doing what I want. If you don't like it, you don't have to be in my life. I don't see you contacting me and um, making sure I agree with every decision you make. So butt out. If they're meant to be there, they'll, they'll still be there. If they're not, goodbye and nice knowing you. But the people who are meant to be with you, who are meant to be in your life and around you, they will be there. Even if they leave right now, the universe will bring you two back together again or whoever. So nobody's going to make you happy but you. So now it's time to make yourself happy. For those people who love you and truly are meant to be around you, they will be happy that you're happy. The people that are gossiping and pissed off, they're only mad because their life is shit. So they want you to be down in, in the sewer with them. When they see you raising your vibration, raising your energy, being successful, it makes them mad because they don't have what it takes to get there. So they don't want you there either. Misery loves company. Um, I see you in the end of January, um, beginning of February. This is going to bring you a whole new sense of fulfillment and you are going to start birthing new ideas. You're like, if I can do this, like anything's possible. And you are going to start bringing forth something new, something different, a dream of yours that you never thought you could do in the past. You're going to go for it. And so we're saying you're going to, you're going to get it. Whatever it is you you are chasing, whatever it is is your goal, you're gonna get it because Sagis, you are setting goals this year and you are checking them off as you go, and and this one's no different. You are going to realize what truly matters to you, and you are gonna pull those people close. You are gonna hold those things tight. Um. You are going to, like I said earlier, you are going to have transformations. I see a lot of you changing your looks, um, changing your appearance in some way, but you're just going to have fun. And that's what, that's what you've been lacking for years, the the truly having fun. I see with this, this love, uh, I don't even know if you want to call it a circle that you're in. I mean, you, Sagis, you are attached to somebody from your past, a past relationship, a marriage, but you're connecting with somebody who's still married or in a committed relationship. They're telling you they're leaving that person so they can be with you. You can't even find the person that you are with. You are in the middle of a divorce, I see, but you, your contact with them is so like hit and miss. The divorce is going through, but you're not pushing it through. I see all that being cleared up. You are going to get your divorce. The person that you are connected to, that you are waiting for, they are going to leave their partner. I see them coming to you in February. And they're going to bring something to you that you did not see coming, but it's going to bring you happiness. You didn't expect this. You have given up hope. But you have to believe it. You have to believe it's coming. Believe me. If you don't believe yourself, they are coming back. So start living your life like they're here. You're going to manifest this. Not only you, but they are too. The seeds are out there. You're meant to be. This is meant from the universe. Um, this is part of your destiny. Whether it be a karmic partner, whether it be a divine, you know, a twin flame, it doesn't matter. 
whatever, whoever I am talking to, this is in your contract that you, this relationship is coming. Um, if it's twin flame, you know, it will, won't end. If it's a karmic partner, they are meant to come back to your life, be in a relationship with you, teach you your lessons and, and who knows how long they'll be here, but enjoy it because it's coming. So quit worrying. You're stressing out. You have sleepless nights. They're working on themselves. Um, they're ending those relationships. For some of them, they might have um, like alcohol, alcoholism or um, like an addiction to something because they are, they're working on themselves with that. They, I see for a group of them, they're in like a treatment facility. And you don't even know it. But they are working on them, themselves. Um, Sagis, in February, you will be in a committed relationship. Whether it be the person you're holding out for or somebody else coming in. Because I see you have many, many options. Um, you have many offers out there on the table. And you're just ignoring them all. Because you're waiting on that one that one person to come back. But for a group of you, some of you are going to get tired of waiting and you're going to start dating someone else. But I do see when this person comes back, you going right back to them. I see that this is a relationship that you've always wanted. But they have hurt you in the past. Spirit is saying to forgive, to move on. And allow this relationship to come in because this time around, it's going to be magical. That's what I'm hearing. Nothing short of a dream. Nothing short of a fairy tale. And you guys are going to you guys are going to I'm hearing like fit together, fit together so well. You both have children. Your families are going to intertwine just beautifully. I see you guys searching for a house to move in to together. And it's just going to be successful. And it's meant to be. Spirit keeps just saying, have faith, have faith, have faith. Do not lose faith in it. Because if you don't believe in it, nobody else will. You know, you, you have to honestly believe that it's coming back for you. Because it's meant to be. So... For a group of you, I see you are looking for work. Sagis, you could be having issues with that and have been for the last couple months. I see in January, by the end of January, you will be employed and you are going to get numerous offers, more than one offer of a different job. So you're going to have your pick of a job. <clears throat> for another group of you, you are starting your own business. Um, you could have started this in November or December and it's this inner, new energy is carrying through the beginning of the year or you are going to be starting it in the next two to three months. For a group of you, you are looking for a new home. Something could have possibly happened where you're at now and you just want to get out and get find somewhere different or um, you're just looking to relocate. Um, you are going to be successful in finding a home. I don't see it, it. If you're buying a home, I don't see it until March. Um, if you are looking to rent beginning of February, um, the majority of you looking for a new home will find it. I do see for a group of you losing a family member or a close friend. Um, either this either just happened or it will be happening in January. Um, but this was written in his contract, their contract. Um, it's going to be a young male. 
I'm hearing like early 40s. And it's going to be unexpected, but there's no pain, no hurt, no nothing involved. Like, it's going to be quick. Um, Spirit's just reminding you to hug everyone you love a little tighter just because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. But don't be sad because we should never be sad for somebody that passes on because they're in a far better place. They are, they, they are somewhere without restriction, without pain, without hurt. So why are we sad that they are gone? We're sad for ourselves. We're sad because we miss them. We're sad because they're not here. We're sad because we can't call them up. We're sad because we can't see them. So don't feel bad. Don't be, don't feel sorry. Don't feel guilty because where they went, where they're going it's far better than here and we will see them again. So that message is for a certain um, group of you because I, I'm feeling guilt, like sorrow, sadness, um, because they were young. Spirit's encouraging us to celebrate their life. Rejoice that we got the pleasure to walk their path with them up to this point. We weren't meant to walk together any longer. From here, they went their separate way. So don't ever be sad for them or anybody that passes away. Um, we're sad for ourselves. So just remember to, to celebrate, to keep the good times in your mind, not, not the sadness. Let that sadness go. Give it to the universe. Um, let them handle it. Let go and let go and let God. So even though it is a sad, it is a sad um, thing to have happen. Nobody wants to lose a loved one. I, my, my can't talk me myself um, have just lost somebody. I did not take it well either. And I'm sitting here preaching it to everybody, but in time, you realize what a blessing you had that person in your life for. Don't ever forget the lessons they taught you. And you're never separated from them anyways. They're either right here, right here, or right here. They're always there. You're never truly separated from your loved ones. Um so for the group of you that are going to lose somebody in the month of January, cry it out, be sad, but don't stay there. Allow that sadness to flow through, give it to the universe, and then bring in that joy, that happiness, that blessing that you knew them, that you had them for so many years here on earth and have faith that you will see them again and to just talk to them. They're there. They can hear you. And, uh, and I hope you guys really take that message to heart because spirit is saying that somebody needed to hear that. Um, yeah. So those are all the messages I have channeled from spirit today. Um, Sagittarius, you had a rough year in 2017. You have been emotionally ransacked. You feel like you're beaten up, bruised, and broken. 2018 is our year. I'm Sagittarius too. I'm Sagittarius sun and moon. So, um, yeah, spirit is just saying that, hold on, because 2018 is going to be a wild ride. But that's how Saggies like it. So, we're just supposed to embrace it, enjoy it, and... It's time to take charge of our own life. And from what I can see, it's going to be amazing. Amazing. It'll make what we have gone through in the last two and a half, three years, all the more worth it. You know, um, Sag or Saturn is out of Cap or out of Sagis and moved into Capricorn. And it's going to take a little bit. It's not going to just be like that. And you're going to feel the difference. 
it's going to take a little bit to get our, to get out of this funk, to get, to get our flow back, to feel normal, but it's coming and January and February, March are going to be absolutely amazing. So I hope you guys like these channeled messages. Um, I've never done it like this before because I have never had a constant flow of messages like this. Usually I would draw my cards and then spirit would give me the messages, but I am channeling in a whole new way. And, um, I just wanted to try it this way and see what I got. So, um, you guys are kind of my, my test crew, you, and I think I did Taurus and Virgo maybe, but, um, so you guys were my guinea pigs. So comment below what you guys think, if you like it. Um, also, um, for those of you interested in connecting with loved ones from the other side, um, I will be offering my, um, talking to heaven, uh, channeled messages for private readings. So, um, be watching for that. I want to thank you again for, um, allowing me to bring you messages for making my 2017 all the more beautiful um, for this learning experience I am having with YouTube in general and uh, my hatred for computers. So um, I just honestly want to tell you, thank you. You have changed my life. You have um, filled me with a joy and love for life that I've never experienced in a way I've never had it before. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys continue to allow me to bring you messages and make my 2018 a wonderful one. Thank you for allowing me to walk the path with you. For those of you who are getting private messages from me and, um, rebooking week after week. Thank you for allowing me in your life, allowing me to get to know you Thank you for allowing me to get to know your loved ones on the other side, your spirit guides. It's just an, been an amazing journey. I am so grateful for you guys. And um, I am just praying that God blesses you with all the love and the light in the world and that your 2018 will be beautiful and blessed. So with that, I am going to say goodbye for now and I love you all and thank you so very much until next.